This is the GM window switch fix. You don't have to go out and buy a new $40 to $120 switch assembly. We can just take it apart very easily and clean it. It's very common. I've done it. I'm not going to say I've done it hundreds of times, but it seems like it. Okay, so you just going to need a flat blade screwdriver. You're going to need a toothbrush, uh, some, a pick or a safety pin, something with a point on it. Preferably some thousand grit sandpaper. Dielectric grease, or you can use a Neosporin or triple antibiotic ointment because it is actually not conductive. And then you want some electronic parts cleaner or brake cleaner. Brake cleaner does not hurt plastic or rubber. Uh, I wouldn't use alcohol or anything like that because it could eat the plastic depending on how much alcohol content you have with the water. Okay, so first you want to remove your bezel from your door panel. And you're going to pull out your wiring harness and you're going to remove the clips that hold the switch assembly into the bezel. Next you're going to pull straight out on the lockout button if you have it. And if it does break on one side, it's always going to hold on the other side. Or you can just put a dab of Elmer's glue in there. You don't want to use super glue or anything else. Then you can take your screwdriver and just press sideways lightly. And you pull out the rocker switches. And you see how that's held in there. Those never break. And you can actually pull them straight out if you want. Then you're going to take your screwdriver and you're going to prime between where the tabs come through the outer body. You'll separate these two halves and you'll pull out the switch assembly. Please do not bend these uh, copper fingers on here or make the contact for the wiring harness. So next what you're going to do is these are the actual rocker switches up and down. So you will actually remove those by prying sideways with the screwdriver here. Just prying lightly and you'll pop those right out and you'll notice that they have these little plastic uh, like point points in there and there's a spring inside there and actually has grease on there so when one of them is like melted you can actually replace it with another switch that you wouldn't normally use or you can actually reshape it a little bit and stretch a spring out and you can see that it just comes right out. So I actually like to take the spring and stretch it out just a tad. A lot of people put paper under there. I've seen some goofy stuff on YouTube. Well, when you put paper in an area that's going to get a lot of heat, uh, you're going to have some problems. So anyway, um, what you want to do is you want to, when you pop those out, you'll see the little contact areas. And you'll see that they have these little metal tabs and they actually just come right out. Just pry those right out of there. They're not held in there. They're just sitting in there. And you'll see that they are dirty the contact is like a point it's carbon arc see it's all dirty and it's not making the contact there same right here there's the point areas it's like a raised little button that there's no contact being made because it's it's arced so many times it gets a little spark every time you engage the switch so you clean that up with your sandpaper on um, both pieces and then you spray a little bit with the alcohol cleaner, put it back together. Don't forget to put a little bit of grease on those little tabs. And in the middle of this little switch right of the uh, metal tab right here, slap it back together and it'll work. And there you go. I just saved you from $40 to $120. I've done it, like I said, many, many times.